Hey, good morning, what's going on folks? Okay, so my intentions is to take this video, I wanna do a short explanation of where I'm at with Henry right now, the beautiful chocolate lab that's with me, and explain to you where we are at as far as training now and what my plans are for when he goes home, okay? So I just started entering that intermittent phase of training with, with Henry. This is where we start teaching the dog to respond, whether we're using tools and rewards or nothing. So this is a very vital part of his training, right? So I was first introduced to that intermittent phase of training probably 10, 11, 12 years ago by Mr. Bart Ballone. Once I added that to my training, uh, especially my client's training, things got v much, much better. The learning really took off for both dog and client, right? Um, then about five or six years ago, sometime around there, I went to a Tobias Olenek uh, seminar. Tobias is a, a phenomenal, phenomenal trainer, another student of Bart's, and, and Tobias was also not only training, but teaching that intermittent style phase training, right? Except Tobias was teaching it much, much better than me. He was making it more clearly, and when he broke it down, into those four combinations that I teach now, I said, well, son of a gun, that's that's fantastic. You're teaching it much better than I am. And I told him I'm going to, to use that. I'm gonna steal that and use it. And since then, you know, I've been able to, to explain that process to clients much, much more clearly. And when we can do that with our clients, then the dogs benefit from it the most, okay? So hopefully I'm attaching this to the, the next training video I do with Henry, where we are training in that intermittent phase, utilizing those four combinations, um, you know, with the e-collar, with reward, with without the e-collar, without reward, you know the whole spiel. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, you know, but then I'm also going to utilize some just leash and flat collar training where there's no tools, no rewards, and we're gonna do a little playing afterwards, maybe in the middle, I'm not sure yet. I didn't do the training yet. That's a big part of his training now. This is where we start adding some distance and duration and, and more distractions and we start taking him out to new places. Now in the beginning, in that intermittent phase, I'm still doing it with minimal distractions, right? At my home, on concrete, not even on the grass because we don't want him to be so distracted by all the smells from the dogs in the grass. So concrete or blacktop, it's beneficial at this point. That's why I do that, all right? But the other thing I wanna talk about that not many people talk about, and this is why some people struggle when the dogs go home. So I've known really good trainers, like really phenomenal trainers that take a difficult dog and do wonderful things with it, like really beautiful things. And when you see the videos and stuff, you're like, damn, that's, that's good work. And they're doing cool things with the dogs and everything. And then some of these dogs go back and they don't make it. I've known a few dogs that have been lost. I've known a few dogs that have been put down that have done phenomenal with the trainer. So, so what's the problem? Where do we go wrong? The issue is, let's say I have two nice ponds in my neighborhood, right? Let's say I make part of Henry's training going down to those ponds with my three dogs and I'm throwing bumpers and balls into the pond and just letting him live his best life, chasing bumpers, swimming in the pond with my dogs. That's a beautiful thing, right? If I put that on video, everyone's going to love it. It's gonna get a ton of views. And, and it, listen, we're watching dogs do what they love to do and that is a beautiful thing. But in my opinion, that would be very unfair to Henry. Why would it be unfair to him? When I send him back home, for me, the way he's going to have the best future where he's going to excel at home is for me to prepare him for what kind of lifestyle he has. So in other words, if I take Henry down to the pond every day with my dogs and spend an hour down there letting him swim and throw bumpers, he's going to love it. And for the month that he's with me, the three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, however long he's with me, he's going to crave that and look forward to it, right? What happens when I send him back home and he no longer gets to go to the pond with other dogs and go swimming and chase bumpers every day? Is that fair to him? Do you think maybe he may backslide a little bit or struggle a little bit? There's a good chance. There's a really good chance. 
So I see it over and over and over again. I see great trainers doing great things with dogs. But you have to think, is this great for me? Or is it great for the owners and the dog? And there's a big difference, guys. And I don't hear anyone talk about this. And some people won't like this, this message because they'll think it's, it's a bunch of crap. But it's not. It's not. I've seen dogs go through great training programs with great trainers and then fall apart when they go home because they're not getting to do the phenomenal things that these trainers did with them every day. And that is important. So for me, the reason I do everything with every dog that comes to me, I try to make it as simple and realistic as possible for long-term results. Something that when the dog goes back in the home, He's not going to backslide because he doesn't get to do the things he did with me before. You have to put the dog first and the owners first. And so if Henry's going to a home that doesn't have other dogs and the extent of his training may be a little obedience training every day, maybe a walk, maybe chase a ball a little bit, that's what I'm going to focus on and try to get him to excel out, excel at. So I hope that makes sense. And these are things that not everyone thinks of. But I guarantee you the owners will appreciate it. And it makes a big difference. So my goal now is to, you know, I'll post this video here just to give people a little idea what I'm talking about. And then hopefully I attach it to the next video with, with Henry in that intermittent phase. I'll use the sound box so you guys understand what I'm doing. And uh, I hope everyone gets to enjoy themselves and enjoy the company of a great dog today. Here you go.